Second up, they're off, popping out smartly, visualization. The Devoy Stakes winner at Nace and Return leads in the early stages from Fastnet Crown, Point Lonsdale going up to the leader, followed by Self Belief and last year's winner, Lafayette, the back marker. In the lead by half a length is Visualization, followed by Point Lonsdale, with a gap of three lengths to the nose banded Fastnet Crown in third, after the outsider Self Belief and Lafayette. As it's visualization and Declan McDonough showing less than a length in front of Point Lonsdale and Wayne Lorden. Three and a half lengths back to, in third place, Fastnet Crown and Dylan Brown McMonigal and then self belief Billy Lee with fifth of the five. Coming up to the seven mark is Lafayette and Colin Keane. Racing uphill in the SP are better guaranteed with total age stakes, group three over 10 furlongs. It's visualization followed closely by Point Lonsdale. Four wins at two. Missed most of last season and third place is Fastnet Crown and then Self Belief and Lafayette. They're in single file just outside the halfway stage and they're nicely spaced out. It's visualization tracked by Point Lonsdale going further away from Fastnet Crown, now six lengths adrift in third and then Self Belief and Lafayette. Further strung out, making the descent for the approach to the straight, it's Visualization and Declan McDonough. Stalked in by Point Lonsdale and Wayne Lorden. Six, seven lengths cleared of Fastnet Crown and Dylan Brown McMoneygill than Self Belief. Billy Lee, Lafayette remains the back marker. Colin Keane, order unchanged as they breast the men for the approach to the straight. Three and a half furlongs to go, Visualization. Turns in with a lead of less than two lengths. Nudged along second is Point Lonsdale. A good five lengths back then of Fastnet Crown. Lafayette brought to the out side and in between horses is self-belief with a quarter of a mile to go it's visualization in the lead and pressurizing point Lonsdale who gets a reminder the two remain clear of Lafayette who's running on in the middle of the track at a fastnet crown who's followed then by self-belief it's visualization from point Lonsdale who's digging down deep in second place as they hit the furlong pole visualization challenged by point Lonsdale the near side who's now level 150 yards to go and it's point Lonsdale where down visualization as Point Lonsdale gets back on track on seasonal reappearance. Wins the alleged for Wayne Lorden and Aidan O'Brien, turning into a good afternoon for them. Visualization second, Lafayette third. Aidan O'Brien's just completed a double with Point Lonsdale. Aidan, I'm sure, very, very pleased first and foremost to get him back to the track. How would you rate his performance? Sir? Yeah, no, delighted, Gary, really. Uh, obviously, he hasn't run since the Guineas uh, last year. Um, we always thought he was a very smart two year old, and we never stepped him up beyond seven, even though we always felt that he wanted a mile at two. Um, and then obviously, uh, he, his farm was very, he had top farm at two, and then he obviously ran in the Guineas. He got injured uh, last year and, and never ran after that. So it was a big run from him, first time back in that ground for such a long time and stepping up to a mile and a quarter. So uh, Wayne was delighted with him. He gave him a lovely ride, uh, relaxed, lovely. and. Uh, he said he's brave. He gets lazy in the middle of his races, but uh, he said he hit the line very well. And against a race fit rival as well, Aidan, visualisation won really well at Nace. I suppose if there were any flaws in your guy, they would have been found out there. Oh, we? absolutely. Yeah. This Joseph's horse, like he was fit and he had him in good order. And I don't think any of the horses from behind closed at all, you know. So um, um, like Wayne did well to follow the pace and obviously knew what, he, what the horse he had to beat. And... Uh, and in that ground, it's very hard to make up ground, you know. So, um, no, you couldn't be happier with him, really, Gary. Wayne was just saying he thinks a mile and a half could seem to even better effect. Uh, what sort of targets would you have mapped out for him? Yeah, sure. Like, obviously, then you're talking about the coronation, uh, a run before it or not. Um, um, like, we'll see how he he comes out, gets out of this. Um, like, he was away the first day of the flat here himself and uh, Luxembourg. And they all uh, came up in a bunch there together. So, um yeah, so if he comes out of it, he could take in another run before then. And if not, it uh, could be a proper race from something like the Coronation. You mentioned Luxembourg there, Aidan. He's, I think, being considered for the Ghana. Is the Coronation likely to be on his agenda? Uh, it, it's possible. The Ghana is the first one, and we have to decide about that uh, in, within the week. Uh, like, if he doesn't go to the Ghana, he c could come here for the Moors Bridge, I think. Um, so at the moment, he's on course for the Ghani and uh, everything is going well with him. Uh, like I said, he was away here the first day of the flat for a gallop as well with, with Point Lonsdale. So, uh, no, so far everything is going uh, looking towards that, but it won't be decided probably within the week. Aiden, we saw a good performance from Democracy in the opener as well. 
Wayne was pretty complimentary about him, felt he could be up there in the top bracket of the two-year-olds. What do you feel about him? Yeah, he's a very good traveller, Gary. He shows a lot of pace. Uh, none of the two-year-olds have been dropped and asked to quicken yet at home. And, and when, when they are being asked, they're a little bit at sea. And he was a little bit that way, travelled very strong. And just when Wayne asked him to go, he was a little bit at sea. So th because of that, plenty of improvement could come when they get used to getting down and, and, and uh, quickening. Um, but you'd have to be very happy. He's, he's a big horse. He handled the ground, um, he's strong and he's mature and uh, no, you'd, you'd have to be very happy with him. Six furlongs a good fit for him for now? I, I think it's no problem, yeah, I, I think and, and even if he needs to go further I wouldn't think that would be a problem either. Um, just loads of stamina on the dam side and obviously he's by no and never which would be a very strong influence for uh, speed. And Aidan, just finally, Derby trials obviously going to start ramping up from now on. What are we looking forward to getting out over the next week or two? Oh Jeannie, there's, sure, there's a lot there and like that's all going on at the moment. Uh, the horse that went to Leperstown the last day will probably go back, uh, the Camelot horse. And we've a lot that we ran a horse in France today, a uh, Saxon Warrior horse ran a lovely race. He was only beaten a couple of lengths. Um, and then added the like of the Adelaide River, the horse that won in Navin, uh, the Australia horse, they're all there to come. The horse won in uh, Maiden, the uh, Dubawi horse that Wayne won in, in Dundalk. Um, they're all, and obviously then Augustus Rodan is on course for the Guineas. Um, so all those things will kind of, we kind of come Dernstown, uh, um, Chester time, Dante time. That's kind of, I, I kind of. That's really the last time you can get those Derby horses out and not to be too close, you know. So that's what they're all looking towards. That kind of a uh, fortnight uh, at the moment, uh, Gary. Great. So, and just finally, little big bear all as well with him since he had his little blow here. Yeah, he's he's very well. He's done a few pieces of work since he travels very strong in his work. He he's, he is a quick horse, obviously, as we know. Uh, he hasn't been asked. Uh, he's been working over the seven furlongs. He hasn't been asked to do a lot over it, Jess, but he's relaxing into his work and doing it well. But uh, the next couple of weeks, um, work's going to get more serious, and hopefully we will know a lot more then. But uh, at the moment, uh, Ryan wrote both of them uh, uh, la last, uh, last week. Last, uh, yeah, Ryan wrote both of them the last piece of work, and he seemed happy with both. Great to hear. Aiden, as ever, thanks for your time. Well done. Thanks, Gary. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.